She still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect! Vikings, 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 brave and strong and true. Sailing in our Viking boats across the sea so blue. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm an elf who has just moved to the neighbourhood. Oh, really? What's your name, little elf? Strawberry. That's a nice name. I mean Alice. Even nicer. Come in. This elf is a fairy spy. Let's tell her silly made-up things about our boat. Wow! You've got a big boat. Yes, and it isn't finished yet. We've got to put the legs on. Legs? All Viking boats had legs. Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. Are we really going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Ah! An elf! No, it's me! The elf's boat is really, really big! No problem! We can do big! And we need duck legs! Oh, really? Then duck legs it is! Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front that breathes fire! <laughs> Gaston! Good old Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> there. All nice and clean again. Oh, oh. No, Gaston. Out. Out. Oh, oh. What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? Oh. <gasps> then there's no time to lose. Lead the way, Gaston. Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Nanny Plum, thank goodness you're here. We're trapped. Hang on. I'll just magic the door open. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <whistles> oh. This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Hooray! Gaston to the rescue! Thank you, Gaston. Oh, oh. Hooray! Let's play basketball. We'll need two nets. We'll need a referee. Dum dee dum dee 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 doo. Nanny, we need a referee for our game. Okay, what's the game? Basketball. Never heard of it. One team has to throw the ball into this net, and the other team has to throw the ball into that net. And you can only... OK, OK, I don't need to know all the little details. Let's start. But I haven't finished telling you the rules. Yes, yes. Go on, Ben. Throw it in the net. Goal! Nanny, in basketball, you don't say goal. You say... Yes, yes. I'm awarding you five points. But that's too many. I decide the rules. I'm the referee. Carry on. 
Remember, Daddy, you mustn't kick the ball. Oh, I see. I'll use magic then. Ha-ha! <laughs> Goal! You can't use magic. It's Father's Day. What has magic got to do with Father's Day? Yellow card for being naughty. But I'm the king. Red card for talking back. Play on! <laughs> Hooray! Ten points to that team. No, no, that's too many points. Oh, this will take forever. Let's make it easier. What if the ball had legs? <laughs> then it could score on its own. Hooray! This is too easy. <laughs> OK, I'll make it harder. I'll give the next legs too. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why don't you add some dragons for good measure? And Keith. Happy birthday, Gaston. Here's your present. It's a squeaky toy. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry. Do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. King Thistle. King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. It's all right. He's with us. What's going on? Where's my birthday party? You said you didn't want a party. I know I said that, but what I really meant was I do want a party. Oh, Daddy. You are silly. Yes, I know. Oh, well, I'm sure Gaston won't mind sharing his party with you. <coughs> Gaston, be nice and share your present with King Thistle. <coughs> Gaston, that's not how to behave on your birthday. <coughs> For me? How kind. <coughs> it's a squeaky toy. <coughs> yes, for you to chase. And now it's time for the birthday song. He's round and he's red with big black spots. How dare they? It's about Gaston, Daddy. He rolls on his back and he barks a lot. He's Gaston the ladybird. That was really fun. Maybe birthday parties aren't that bad. What's that noise? Happy birthday! Oh! Hooray! Happy birthday, Daddy. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny, magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Mm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. <laughs> Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? That was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, 
Sorry, Gaston. Don't worry. We'll make it just the way you like it. Yes. <laughs> We're very good at making things messy. Wow, wow. <laughs> this is fun. Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant. Sit up, Zessie. Gaston's bed, nice and messy. Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> Yee-haw! Can't catch me. Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the fuel tank, Nanny Plum. Now, ask the magic basket for jelly. What? But you said no more magic jelly. Remember? Yeah, I know I did, but this is an emergency. OK. How much jelly do you want? A lot. Rightio. What? How will that help? The jelly comes out of the magic basket at amazing speed. <laughs> We can use the power of jelly to make the rocket fly back home. If I'd said that, you'd say I was being silly. But it's not you saying it. It's me. And the wise old elf is very wise, Nanny Plum. I suppose he is a bit clever. OK, let's give it a go. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. Lots, lots, lots. <laughs> Oh, hang on, everyone! <laughs> it worked! Hooray! <laughs> Elf Rocket to control! We are heading back to the Little Kingdom using jelly power! Hooray! They're on their way home. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, flush. <laughs> there you go, Froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Oh, no. Sorry, Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes. Daddy, you said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <coughs> Shoo. <coughs> ah. Hi, Ollie. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look, they're following us. <laughs> Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done!
Well done, Ben. Uh, wise old elf, maybe you should get out from under the cow. If only I could take a closer look. Oh. <gasps> oh, dear. It's raining and I haven't got my umbrella. What about the wise old elf? Oh. He's under a cow. At least he's dry under there. Ah! Oh. Oh. Lucy, could you get Bessie to stand up, please? I'm sorry. Cows never get up when it's raining. Uh, Daddy Plum, you may now use magic if you wish. I didn't think you liked magic. Just get me out. If you're sure. I'm sure. Abracazow, up you get cow. <laughs> Now, what was I saying? The last thing you said was... Ugh! That's the sound you made when the cow sat on you. Ugh! Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, no! It's a thunderstorm. Everyone back on the bus. Lucy, you'd better go indoors. But I can't. I have to get all the animals into the barn first. Rex can help. <laughs> but what about Bessie and the chickens? Maybe I could try magicking them into the barn. Oh no! It's too wet for my wand to work. It is working. Look! <laughs> it's not magic. It's Gaston. He's copying Rex the sheepdog. <laughs> in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. Press her tummy. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves, too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Ah. Right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. <laughs> Good evening, Your Majesty. So, are you telling me that I've gone away for just one day and the whole kingdom couldn't look after two little children? Zigzag Zog, make me into a frog. Wow! <laughs> a common frog. Look how slimy it is. <laughs> And how smelly it is. Oh, stinky wimpy poo! And how silly it sounds. Well, that brings today's nature class to a most satisfactory close. Uh, uh, Nanny Plum, you can turn yourself back now. I don't think Nanny Plum can turn herself back again. She can't pick up her wand. Oh, what a shame. Now, for your homework... But Nanny Plum, we can't leave her as a frog. Oh, can't we? Oh, I suppose not. 
Uh, which fairy wants to turn her back again? Me! 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 me. All right. Holly, do your best. Um, I'm not sure what spell to use. I'm sure Nanny Plum would want you to just have a go anyway. OK, I'll try this. Abracazari, um, frog to fairy. Oh, it works. Oh, thank you, Holly. Oops. Sorry, Nanny. You did very well, Holly. But you shook your wand a bit too hard. Abracazari, frog to fairy. Hooray! You see, children, it's all in the wand control. Is it morning already? Oh. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Oh. Uh, goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything. Yes, including us. It's a monster. How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it. Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now. Righto. Ben, there's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Righto. Elves to the rescue. <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing. And what are we? We're elves. Master, master, master! Oh, it's wound down! Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic! <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? Well, well, it's the proper key. Well, well done, done, Gaston. Well, well. Uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. <laughs> ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Come on, Barry. Where are you? It's not working. Here, Barry! Come on, boy! Oh, if we're going to catch Big Bad Barry, let's do it properly. Yes! You must do what I say as soon as I say it. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain! Big Bad Barry is too big for that rod. We'll use this rod. Wow! You wanted to meet Big Bad Barry? Here's your chance. Excellent! Now? We wait, but not for long. Look! It's him! It's Big Bad Barry! What a fish! We'll be eating him for weeks! He's got the cheese! Start the engine! Full set! Yes, we are. Bad Barry is pulling us backwards. I'm on. We've got him. We've got him. I think he's got us, Daddy. Holly's right. We should never have tried to catch Bad Barry. He's too big. He's too bad. We have to let him go. Never. Aha! He's given up! I don't think so. He's eating the lime! Ah, uh, then he can have it. I give in. Sorry we tried to catch you, Barry. No hard feelings, eh? Ah! He's eating Banty! Lord... Well, I suppose it's not really a birthday, then. As long as the elf band doesn't turn up. One more surprise 
Daddy. Oh, I love surprises. You have to close your eyes. OK. You can open your eyes now. Surprise! I said no birthday party. It's not a birthday party, darling. It's just a surprise party. Oh, well then, I suppose... Happy birth... <gasps> I mean congratulations, Your Majesty, on being such an excellent king. Well done. Oh, thank you. And now for the giant firework. It's as big as a carrot. <laughs> ah! Ah I love fireworks. And now, Your Majesty, the elf band will sing a special song in your honour. Oompa, oompa, old King Sissel is a very old king and he's one year older today. Old King Sissel, he's old and grey. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Uh, of course, the song isn't actually about you. It's about a different king, Your Majesty. A king far away from here. Whose birthday it is today. In that case, it was a very nice song. Hooray! Safe and sensible magic is what we do here. What's he doing? He's setting up the testing robot to do a magic spell. What's that? Lemonade. We're going to test the wand by turning the lemonade into something else. Is it going to turn into a golden coach? Or a monster with a hundred eyes and three legs? <laughs> Wait and see. The lemonade has turned into water. Why would you want to do that? That's not magic. It's very sensible magic. It's rubbish magic. Well, what would you turn it into? How about this? Ah! You did magic outside the test room. Oh, it's a lemon. I meant to turn it into a frog. Nanny Palum. My wand's not working right. It's rattling. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. When did you last have this wand serviced? Ten years ago. Wands should be serviced once a year. Here, try that. Yes, that's much better. Nanny, you turned the wise old elf into a frog. So I did. Are you going to turn him back again? Oh, I suppose I'll have to. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Very good. Rinky dinky do, rinky diddly dee. Dooby dooby do, dibbly dibbly dee. Stop! Would you like me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs> Mr Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. <gasps> it's the gnome! He's come back to eat our breakfast! Oh! A mole! <laughs> oh! It's eating our washing! Shoo! Shoo! Go away, mole! <laughs> Princess Holly, do you know a magic spell to get rid of moles? I'm sorry, Mr Elf. I don't. Oh, dear. Think, Mr Elf, what gets rid of moles? Hello? <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! 
Yes. Moles don't like us gnomes. No idea why. Ah, uh, thank you, Mr Gnome, for uh, saving our campsite from the mole. That's all right. What's for breakfast? The mole ate all the food. Oh, dear. Good morning. Nanny Plum! How was your night? It was very strange. Mr Gnome turned up and he loves oranges. And Mr Gnome sang a funny song called Rinky Dinky Doo. Then a mole came along and ate our washing line and all our food. And now we haven't any breakfast. Yes, I thought that might happen. Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. I think they're trying to fly. But they can't fly. I can teach them. Fairies are good at flying. And I'm a fairy! <laughs> <laughs> OK, baby birds, just copy me. Flying is easy peasy. Oh, they're not copying me. Maybe we should start with something simpler. How did you learn to fly? I've been flying since I was a baby. I can't remember my first flying lesson. Hmm. Let's begin with flapping. Like this. <laughs> They're copying you, Ben. Now flap faster. Now jump. They're flying. Clever, Ben. You taught them to fly even though you can't fly yourself. Bye-bye, <laughs> birds. There they go. Goodbye, little ones. Oh, don't say you miss them now. No, I've just got something in my eye. Have the chicks hatched yet? I want to tick them off in my book. They've flown away, Daddy. I taught them how to fly. Oh, baby woodpecker chicks are a once-in-a-lifetime sight for a bird spotter. But you missed them. It's not fair. Now I'm not going to spot anything good. <coughs> Hello? King Thistle, we've got a strange nest in the castle. A nest? I'll be there straight away. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pippin likes you. No, oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right-ho! 
goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! <laughs> the things we do for our pets, hey, King Thistle? It's not my pet! Lower the wheel into the hamster cage. Hamster cage? Are you talking about my castle? Put the wheel in the middle of the hamster cage, Mr. Elf. Pippin! Here, Pippin. Pippin like wheel. Are you sure the wheel is strong enough? It'll be fine. Hamsters don't run very fast. Ooh, you've got a fast hamster, haven't you? The wheel's spinning too quickly. You cannot take it, Captain. It's OK. The wheel's too big to go through the cage door. My castle! Oh, dear. Pippin's escaped again. The wheel's heading for the great elf tree. We'll have to warn the elves. Hello? Hello, dear. It's me. Um, do you know what uh, hamsters are? Yes, dear. They're sweet little fluffy creatures. Um, yes. Well, don't panic, but there's a hamster coming your way in an enormous wheel! Oh! Now, now all, all astronauts, astronauts into, into their, their spacesuits space get ready for takeoff. <laughs> 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 What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the Mission Control Room? Ooh! Systems check. Engines ready. Engines are go. Computers ready. Computers online. Fuel system ready. Fuel systems A-OK. -okay. Start the countdown. Ten. I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Or fairy. Oh, sorry, Holly. You are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and A-OK, -okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off... Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Pieces of eight. Oh, goodness me. Daddy. We're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, that's all right then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe 
It'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lift up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. Oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. Oh. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny. The tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes. Daddy told us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Morning time! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes. But when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly! <laughs> Plum's cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. 
Abraka do, Abraka bong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Ice creams for everyone. Ooh, thank, thank you. you. I'll be back with more. <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot. Will it stop soon? I think I told it to make ice cream all day long. Oh, dear. <laughs> <sighs> we'll soon be home. Yes, and it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes, Holly must be behaving herself. Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! No! <laughs> This is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. Phew! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf! Told you it would work! Ah! <gasps> I hope they're OK! Ah! They don't look very happy! Elves are never happy! Stop the spell now, Nanny Plum! Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind! Oh, OK! All winds, away you go! Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. 
I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. King and Queen Marigold don't like country things. And the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Fantastic! That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine... Elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! What's that? <laughs> Pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <laughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <laughs> jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. They all want jelly. Goodness me. We'll be here all day. I just have to make a lot more. No, no Nanny Plum. More, more, more. Oh, jelly Plum. The jelly is showing us the way out. Hear something. What's that? Jerry Fudd! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What's Jerry Fudd? Jerry Fudd! The weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Hang on. If you've stopped all the magic in the castle, why is the TV still working? Uh, the TV's not magic. Isn't it? Really? Oh. oh! If there's no magic today, how can I make Ben a birthday card? Well, you could make the card by hand. Really? Could I? And I can help you. Uh, Nanny Plum, I think you'll be busy cleaning up the kitchen. That will take but a moment with my fairy magic wand. 
but there isn't any magic. You've stopped all the magic for one day. Oh, yes. <laughs> this will be fun. Mmm. This will be fun too. I think I'll start with a picture of Ben. <laughs> it's easy doing things without magic. Yes, really easy. Now, lots of kisses for Ben. And some sparkly glitter. There. Lovely. Yes, it's amazing what can be done without using magic. Yes, Nanny Plum, it is. <laughs> <laughs> now quick, or you'll be late for Ben's birthday party. <laughs> to love his birthday card. <laughs> There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, uh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used gnomes. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Danny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Nine. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Nine needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look, a pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, your royalness. What? I might have to stay here. Forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Oh, custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. 
This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. This is the great elf clock. Wow. The most accurate clock of all. What does accurate mean? It means it always tells the right time. Quite so, Ben. I set it every night by the distant bells. They usually ring about now. Da, da, da. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. That means it's time for dinner. Dinner time! Dinner time! The bells! The bells! Now I need to adjust the clock. But that's just Nanny Plum. What do you mean? Nanny rings the bell every night when it's dinner time. <clears throat> and how does Nanny Plum know it's dinner time? Her tummy rumbles. What? You mean I've been setting the great elf clock to a fairy's tummy rumble? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Her tummy does seem to be amazingly accurate. It is dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Ben. See you tomorrow, Holly. But the tide will be coming in soon and... Please, Mr Elf, please can we stay a bit? Just a little bit, then. We'll pack the car, but you must come when we call you. Yes, Mum. We promise. Oh, look. The sea is coming closer. That's great. Soon the castle will have a moat. Oh, Holly almost left her wand behind. Talking of Holly, let's fetch the children. I don't want to go home. I want to stay in our castle forever and ever. Oh, goodness. Look how high the sea is. Ben, Holly, leave the castle now. We can't leave. The sea's too high. Holly, you can fly to the shore. OK. No, it's too windy to fly. Uh, Holly, maybe it's time to do a little magic. Yes, I'll just wave my wand and... Oh, where's my wand? Here's your wand, Holly. I can throw it to you. But what if it falls in the sea? Don't worry, Holly. Mrs Elf is very good at throwing things. And I'm great at catching. <laughs> OK. Don't worry, wand. Ben will catch you. Ready, Ben? Yes, Mum. One, two, three, throw! <laughs> Bit. Sun, sea and sand, put Ben and me on dry land. <laughs> 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 <laughs>